This movie is going to show how to create this kind of a roundover piece using Enroute software. This is a fairly easy piece to create because what we're going to do is take a profile and extrude it along a path. When you want to extrude something in Enroute, and we have here the dimensions of this part, you're basically going to draw it in the top view from left to right. So let's start by drawing our, our profile piece. I'm just going to come here and create a straight line by clicking on screen and then holding the, the shift key down to make sure it's straight in the Y axis. Then I'm going to hit F2 to bring precision input center up and hit 20 centimeters for my length. This equals the amount of length in our, our defined profile part. Now I'm going to go to the point edit mode and just turn this into a curve. I'll select the part again and hit F2 and I'll, I'll notice I have proportional unchecked because I'm going to come here and make my part uh, in the Y axis 3.175 centimeters. So I'll say 3.175 because it's not proportional it will not affect the length of the part just the height of it. So now I have a profile that's the correct length. I do need to create a couple of lines that are 0.635 centimeters. So I'll just create a straight line, again holding the shift key to make it go vertically in the Y axis. And I'll make the size of this 0.635. So now I have this the right size part I want. I've got my snap to point on and I'm going to hit the move command and move the upper part to the, the size here. Now I'll select this part again. I'll create another section over here and I'll zoom in on this upper section. I don't need to make a copy of this because I already did and move it up here to the under part of the profile. So we now have three separate line segments here. I'm going to come here and right click, choose merge selection and I'll turn this all into one continuous line. So we now have the profile that we're going to use to extrude along the part. Next we need to create a 2D object that's going to serve as our 3D relief. I'm going to go to the uh, I'm going to go to the uh, draw rectangles tool and I'm going to go to rectangle by height and width and I uh, can also place a lower corner. So I'm going to choose this method. I'm going to choose 0, 0 for my lower left and a width and a height of 20 centimeters. I'll hit apply. Now I have a, a part right in the location that I want it. I'm going to come here to create relief. I'm going to choose flat, add, zero height, and apply. I've now created a 3D relief inside this 20 centimeter square. Now I can draw a line, I need to draw a line I'm going to extrude along, and I could draw this in the X or the Y axis. This time I'll draw it in the X axis, and I'm going to center it using control and the number five from the right of the keyboard and the number pad. So I've got this part centered right in the middle going through the middle of the part. Now I do not need to pre-rotate my profile. It's actually, and Route's going to do that for me. So I'll just select the part. I'll go up here and go to extrude from my surfaces menu. This little wizard tells me to select the contour I want to extrude, select the path I want to follow, and I want to select the bottom middle handle of this profile to extrude along this path. So now I've created my part. If I hit F12 I can see that it is right directly on top of my material. Okay so we've created this part using these profiles. Next thing we're going to do is toolpath it. We'll select this piece and first of all come here and hit move to bottom of plate. So that will take my relief and move it to the bottom of the plate. My relief size is 3.80 and my material size is 3.81 so I can see I have my, my relief is just a little thinner than the plate size. Now I'll come here and apply the tool path and I'm going to go to a hatch fill. I selected a ball end tool because that's going to give me a smooth surface. I'm going to cut the depth of my plate and I'm going to choose overcut so that my ball nose tool extends past the edge of the part and I do a little bit more than half the diameter of the part. 
All right, next we're going to go to the edit here and we're going to put an overlap of 90%. Also, since I want my, my part to go up and down here to go in the same angle as the, uh, as the curve, I'm going to say 90 degrees or 90 degrees hatch angle. Uh, actually, first, let's, let's go back here and I think it might be faster if we started at zero. So we'll start this one at zero hatch angle. So it's going to go left to right. All right, so I'll come here and I'll hit OK. I'll hit OK again. Actually, the way we're doing this one, if we go left to right instead of over the hump, instead of making that Z axis movement, we'll just be maintaining pretty much a, a straight Z movement, which should speed up the overall cut time. Okay, so we have our, our toolpath now, and because it's going along the same axis as the as the curve it's going to actually be maintaining a constant z depth as it cuts along this path next thing i might do is come here and a apply a cut out tool path to cut the part out when it's done and now we can do a 3d simulation here using selected color and i like these two colors We'll hit the play button and it's not too complicated here to cut this one so you can see it's cutting pretty fast. And if we want we can uh, come here and increase our resolution a little bit so that it'll go slower. And we can see here the, the bit as it's going around the path here. So this is how we would uh, create this using the, def the extrude tool and then use the tool path to, to create the actual surface here and cut it out. This is the conclusion of the demo on how to create this roundover part.